Early tomorrow morning, guys, I'm off to my favorite country in the world, Iceland. So our journey begins in Iceland, obviously. We landed roughly around here. When I say we, I mean me and my friend Jamie. This is Jamie. The guy to the top of the picture, of course. The bottom one is me. So as I said, we started off in Keflavik, where we picked up our hire car, briefly stopped off at the capital Reykjavik, which by the way is absolutely awesome, and quickly made our way down south to take the ring road toward the east to start seeing just truly what this land has to offer. Me and Jamie decided to take it in turns driving. It was Jamie's first time driving a left-hand drive car on the right side of the road, so he was pretty excited about that. We had some points of interest marked on the map, but we just stop off at all these random locations on the way, because literally everywhere in Iceland is just so incredibly picturesque. I mean, look at this basalt rock formation. It looks like something mythological giants would create. 90% of Iceland is just so untouched, and it allows nature and the country's beauty to just do the talking. Oh, this is our hire car, attached to us to 4x4. It certainly did the job. And this is Jamie flicking through one of many photos he's just taken. We commenced our journey through the mysterious and wonderful atmosphere that Iceland has to offer, covering many, many miles and almost running out of fuel more times than I care to imagine. It can be pretty tough to find a gas station out there, so filling up is certainly a strategic game. However, fuel was the least of our concerns. We were there to explore and explore we did. We had our cameras and drone at the ready and just take a look at our first proper destination. I'll let the footage I captured do the talking. Next, we resumed our journey and headed down to a waterfall called Celia Lansfoss. I hope I pronounced that better than how I pronounced it in this clip that I'm about to show you, where I'm literally just complaining about lack of sleep. You can literally see how tired both myself and Jamie are. Watch this. So, just stopped off, uh, I think. <laughs> so, I was taking the piss. <laughs> what are you doing? I was like... <laughs> I'm so slumped. Oh. Guys, we've literally had like no sleep. We were up at 1am to catch the flight. I had like no sleep before that. I just, you know when you're excited for something and you just you just can't get to sleep. So I've had like a little nap on the plane. By little I mean it was a very broken sleep waking up every five minutes on the journey. And um, yeah, but we're here, we're, we've made it, we're in Iceland. Um, right now we're at Selangifoss or something like that. I don't know the exact pronunciation. 
So as stated, we then stopped off at Seljalandsfoss. Seljalandsfoss is of course in the south region of Iceland. It's located right by the Route 1, which is the main ring road that circles the country. The waterfall drops approximately 60 meters and is part of the Seljalands River that has its origin in the volcano glacier Eyjafjallajökull. This is a gorgeous waterfall surrounded by beautiful green scenery and is actually neighbor to two other waterfalls, one smaller one and one stunning waterfall that is tucked away in a gorge-like cavern. So of course we had to trek our way over to that one and it was an absolutely amazing experience which held such ambience and atmosphere despite all the other tourists that came to enjoy it too. It was bliss. After exploring Sevilansfoss, we continued our journey toward the east, exploring many other beautiful locations and eventually arriving at our beds for the night. We were staying in a cosy tent not far from a local village named Vik. Vik sits in the shadow of Mirdarsjoku Glacier, which covers the Katla volcano. It's another very picturesque spot with a beautiful wooden church named Reniskerkia, which dates right back to 1929. We ordered some food, and may I say, the quality of the meat in this burger was unlike anything I've ever eaten, packed with flavour. We ate and eventually retired for the evening in our cosy tents, surrounded by gorgeous green landscapes and nothing but the sound of the Icelandic air and the scarce wildlife that roamed. Morning guys, excuse the hairdo, oh my days. I actually slept quite well, because I was that pepper. I think big man over here did too. Oh, I can just hear sheep. That's the view from outside of our tent. Insane, beautiful. Today is gonna to be a new day, a new day of exploration. And the other thing I probably should mention is that we're currently in the season of the midnight sun. So it never actually gets officially dark. Jamie was telling me last night that he woke up at silly o'clock in the night and it was still pretty much, well, almost basically light outside. It wasn't much different from this, which is crazy. If the sky clears up somewhat, we might have the opportunity of seeing a sort of permanent, permanent sunset, a permanent orange, which would be really, really beautiful if that to happen. Yeah, we need it to not be so cloudy. Either way, I'm excited for today. Guys, we just stopped off at this little cave, secret sort of spot down the south of Iceland. Jamie, what do you think? That place is nuts, man. Like, I've seen caves before, but that's a Minecraft looking cave. That, that's insane, man. Like, <laughs> Just have it, a whole like form of it and everything, it's just beautiful man. Stunning. I think like truly this country has such a unique identity compared to any other place in the world. It's just, it stands out in its own special way and that's what I love, just the dynamic of Iceland. How many things there are to see, caves, glaciers, icebergs, waterfalls black sand beaches, craters, you know, the list goes on. It's just such an incredible country. And I'm just so excited for the rest of oh. today. Ah, oh, after last night's sleep as well, I'm refreshed, I'm energized. We're gonna be vibing good. Bro, let's get it, let's get it.
Our next port of call was a glacier lagoon where they actually shot a scene from Interstellar, the scene where Matthew McConaughey's character is fighting Matt Damon's. Interstellar is my favourite movie of all time, may I add, and this just made it all the more exciting. It was a lengthy 40 plus minute walk from the nearest car park to the glacier lagoon, but it was so worth it. Glaciers in Iceland were formed when magma that erupted through the ice ran off atop the glacier. After the cold period of the ice age came to an end, there were multiple eruptions and many volcanoes were formed. Global warming is unfortunately pushing these gorgeous glaciers further and further back each year. Just look how stunning these things actually are. Look how magical our planet can be. Take a look at these drone shots I recorded. then drove to Yokel Sarlin Glacier Lake, where you can see many icebergs that have actually broken away from the main glacier itself. It's quite a sad sight to see really, as it really puts things into perspective in terms of how global warming is affecting our snow and our ice. destination for the day 
was a beautiful waterfall and arguably my favourite location in Iceland, Skogafoss. But before reaching Skogafoss, we just had to stop off at these gorgeous lava fields that stem from eruptions from as early as the 1700s and are now an array of massive boulders that are covered with moss. It's absolutely breathtaking to see in person. So just another random break because literally you can stop off anywhere, absolutely anywhere in Iceland and you're going to find something beautiful. I'm just currently on, I think, something that you call lava fields in Iceland. I don't think it's actual lava, clearly, but it's like moss that's growing out of almost volcanic looking rock. It's really, really cool. Something quite special. Iceland has so much, I can't get over it. Awesome. So off to Skogafoss we headed, but of course we did stop off at one more location, a black sand beach on the south coast, with a cliff edge made of basalt rock. This was an absolutely stunning location, and I can see why it attracted so, so many other tourists. Anyway, allow me to show you Skogafoss waterfall. So guys, we've just parked up at Skogafoss Waterfall and I have to say, it's probably my favourite waterfall in Iceland and I've just got some of my best drone shots yet at this amazing location. Check this out. What do we think, Jamie? We're loving it. This place is beautiful. Just taking it all in. So in Iceland, it's like everywhere you go, there's something new. That's the crazy stuff, man. Guys, guys, no joke. It's like 10:52 p.m. 10:52 p.m. and it's pretty much still broad daylight. It's baffling me. And anyway, me and Jamie, we've decided. Me and big man over there, we've decided <laughs> decided to take a hike up to a natural hot spring river that you can bathe in. Got the towel ready, got the shorts. We're prepped. 11 p.m. at night, guys, and we're doing this. And it's just the maddest views, look at this. The most insane views. It's like, you can see all the steam coming out from the water. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It's absolutely something else. I would say 
I would I would say we've been walking for already maybe 40 minutes. I think we're only like halfway there or something. So it's a big trek, a big commitment, but we're gonna do it, we're gonna get to the finish. And then we've booked somewhere to stay, I think just Nork, Nork, <laughs> you can tell I'm tired, just north of Reykjavik um, for the night. And then we're gonna head towards the west of the island tomorrow to do some more filming, check out some more locations and uh, just catch more of a vibe. This is so bliss. I feel like I'm challenging myself more and more each day, stepping myself outside of my comfort zone, just growing as a person in the most amazing way possible. Oh, I love it. I truly, truly love it. So we're officially sitting in the hot spring slash river and it is boiling in it. It's boiling. It's lovely though. It's really, really nice. Oh, it's so relaxing. This is just incredible. Iceland just, just blows me away more and more every time. This is bliss. <laughs> oh, what a vibe. What are you saying, Jamie? Say what I'm saying. That's the spirit. That's the one that feels good. That that feels amazing right there. <laughs> well, guys, we made it to our Airbnb. Lovely little place. I believe it's actually someone's home and they're just renting it out to travellers, which is pretty, pretty cool. Lovely hosts either way. It's now the morning of the next day, believe it or not. I know it can be quite confusing because it's literally daylight all the time in the summer. But anyway, it's our final day. Got a lot to look forward to. We're in the west side to finish off our trip in Iceland. So let's get to it. Our final day started us off on a hike on the west coast of Iceland to visit Aldborg Crater. Rising 60 meters above from the surrounding lava, this stunning volcano is the largest crater along the short volcanic rift. It's shaped in an almost perfect circle and was known to be one of the most active of volcanoes 5,000 to 8,000 years ago. We made it! It's really windy! We're on top of a crater! Ah! The next attraction was Rautsvaldskjell Gorge, a natural canyon on the Snavelsnes Peninsula. The canyon tells tales of old Icelandic sagas and folklore, and is one of the most beautiful places to visit, in my humble opinion. This is a deep ravine on the eastern side of Bottomsfjell Mountain, so of course we made our way into the gorge to bask in its ambience and history. It held gorgeous rocky walls, covered in bright green moss and stunning fresh flowing water, penetrating right the way through said gorge. So guys, me and Jamie, we've literally crawled our way up through the gorge. There's no one here, no one here but ourselves. And it's just getting more and more insane. This is literally, as Jamie quoted, something like from Alden Ring. It's incredible. How are you feeling? Yeah, scary, man. I have it no experience in this, but yo, it's working. <laughs> Once done at the gorge, we made way to Kirkjufell Mountain. This spot is an extremely popular location, especially for photographers. It's the most photographed mountain in Iceland, in fact. It's also recognized as the Arrowhead Mountain from the popular show, Game of Thrones. This mountain is again surrounded by stunning scenery. I find that truly everywhere in Iceland has something magical to offer. Sadly, the trip was drawing closer to an end and we drove to a miraculous cabin that would serve as our final accommodation for the holiday. To reach the cabin, you had to drive for miles down an empty gravel road. The area has other cabins nearby, but I'll be biased to say I chose one of the best. Of course, it's surrounded by stunning scenery and gives you the opportunity to see for miles and miles across the peninsula's landscape. So guys, we've reached our accommodation for our final night in Iceland and it is literally my favourite place ever. It is called a Mullicott Cozy Cabin. I think I pronounced that right. And they are just, well, what they say in the title, really cozy cabins in the middle of nowhere. I'll keep some B-roll of the cabin. It's absolutely gorgeous. These guys absolutely kill it with these properties. They're amazing. Literally, if I moved to Iceland, I'd want to live in somewhere like this. It's just stunning. So our final night consisted of resting in this gorgeous gorgeous cabin. I made myself and Jamie some burgers using quality meat and we actually ended up watching Shutter Island in the living area. This place 
is truly magical as stated and I cannot wait to return. If you go to Iceland, please check out Mullicott Cabins. It is the most perfect place to recharge your batteries and to feel truly, truly connected with the world. So I just want to recap just truly how dynamic Iceland is. It is a magical country full of so much to see, glaciers, icebergs, caves, waterfalls, black sand beaches, and so, so much more. It truly has a special place in my heart, and every time I go, it never fails to absolutely blow me away. It is the most beautiful place and a perfect place to again feel one with the world, appreciate nature, and just to rejuvenate and meditate. It has everything one could ever possibly need. Please, please, if you have the opportunity, go and visit Iceland and just see for yourself how magical this world truly is. Thank you.